All right, guys, so the news came out today that the Golf Club 2019 is going to be licensed by the PGA Tour. So EA are no more. They're not licensed with the PGA Tour anymore. So it seems like EA is completely done with golf. So this is kind of a little bit of a bittersweet um, news day, I guess, because the Golf Club 2 is picking it up, but EA is not going to be doing golf, club, uh, or golf games anymore. So it doesn't seem like we're going to get a new... PGA Tour game, uh, a new Tiger Woods, a new Rory McIlroy, whatever you want to call it, which is um, which is a bit disappointing. But the the upside is that the golf club is going to have the licenses for courses. I don't think they're going to have any golfers in 2019, but going forward, I'm sure this is just a huge step forward for the franchise, and I'm looking forward to seeing where it's going to progress to. So. Basically, I'm going to run down the bullet points of what this means for the Golf Club 2019 and what it means for golf games in general. So first off, they have announced, uh, I'm going to link in the de in the description as well, uh, the video that they, uh, the announcement video for their licensing with the PGA Tour and a blog post uh, explaining everything in a little more detail than I'm going to go into. So first off, they're um, adding in a PGA Tour career mode which is pretty dope. Uh, it's a 32 tournament PGA Tour season, including the FedEx Cup playoffs, and you have to basically try and become the FedEx Cup champion. Um, there's gonna be sponsors, there's gonna be rivalries, uh, which is actually super dope. Um, so with rivalries, when you're on the PGA Tour, uh, your skills are noticed, and you can get into a rivalry with another player on the tour, and you can compete head to head to see who is the better player. And, not, and only uh, on the leaderboard and also statistically in terms of statistics, which is a uh, very, very cool. They'll have different kind of statistics like um, number of strokes, front nine score, back nine score, birdies are better, no bogey round, best hole and worst hole. And there's going to be like a, a certain system where you can win the rivalry based on how many points you get. And then there's sponsors as well, which is a, a, a nice addition. So I'm assuming they're going to have some licensed brands as well, like TaylorMade or something. I don't know if they actually will. They haven't mentioned that yet. But uh, if not, they're going to make up their own ones, I assume. Uh, there's also now going to be, I think, six licensed courses, which is not a lot, but uh, this is just a start. This is their first game with PGA Tour licensing, and uh, I'm sure that they're going to get more over time. They have to wait for the PGA Tour licenses to run up on some of the courses, I'm sure, and stuff like that. But basically, they have the TPC courses. They have TPC Summerland, TPC Scottsdale Stadium course, which is uh, the course of the Waste Management. You probably know that course very well. And then you have TPC Sawgrass, which is obviously the most famous one. That's uh, the Players' Championship. you got TPC Southwind, and you've got TPC Deer Run, and also TPC Boston as well. So those are the, the six licensed courses that you're going to have in the game for the Golf Club 2019, which is going to be a nice addition, a nice addition having real courses that aren't made by, um, that aren't user created. So I'm definitely disappointed that EA has decided to drop golf completely and they're not going to be doing another game because I feel like they had a lot of potential to make a great game. And even now that Tiger's back, make, a, make another Tiger Woods game and capitalize on that, I guess. But uh, they decided to drop it. EA is known for dropping franchises pretty quickly if one game doesn't um, succeed or exceed their expectations. So it's a little bit disappointing. I'm not surprised though. EA are uh, kind of shit. Kind of a shit company in terms of like giving games a chance, a uh, second chance. Like even with Dead Space, Dead Space 3 undersold a little bit, underperformed, and bang, series gone, never to be seen again. That's basically what they're doing now. I'm sure all of the people that have worked on golf games and EA are working on other projects now. Maybe some of them will even go over to the golf club now that they're licensed with the with the PGA Tour. So I'm actually really excited for Golf Club 2019, um, way more so than I was before this announcement because I think this can really add a lot to the, to the fran not only this game, but the franchise of the golf club. And I'm sure they can build upon this quite a bit and hopefully in the golf club after golf club 2019 there's actual uh licensed golfers and they bring in real golfers and ricky fowler or something that would be uh that would be pretty dope uh, unless it's going to come in i don't think they'll bring it in as dlc for this game i think that will be for a future title maybe the golf club 2020 uh, i don't know if they're going to do it yearly or if they're going to uh do it uh, bi-yearly or something like that and updates do lots of updates i'd love to see real golfers in this game. I'd love to see a lot more real courses um, and they can capitalize where Rory McIlroy PGA Tour failed. I think that they have a, a good 
a really good market here and I'm sure you guys will agree I have a big audience for golf here on this channel so make sure to drop a like if you're ex excited for the golf club 2019 go check out their announcement video show some love on that I guess that's pretty much it uh, I'm really excited they don't have a release date yet for this game but it's supposed to be coming quarter three 2019 so it should be coming within the next uh, four to five months and uh, hopefully we get a release date soon and yeah Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.